Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your HTC One into a Sony Xperia Z3. Now, we're going to be doing this by installing the Z3 Launcher along with some other core Z3 apps. Now, this will also work on any other Android that's running KitKat. Just be sure to download the same APKs and install them the same exact way we're doing on the HTC One. So, to get started, go ahead and click on the link for the full guide in the description below and download all the files that you are going to need. These will include all the APKs and the Z3 audio and wallpaper zips. After you have them downloaded, you're gonna to want to extract the zips. So use a file explorer like ES File Explorer to open up the zip and extract them. Now that the folders are extracted, you go ahead and move the audio files to where they belong. All the alarm files go into the alarm folder on your SD card. You can find that on the main page along with the notification and ringtone folders. Just put all the sounds into the corresponding folder. After you have that done, we go ahead and start installing all the files. So the first thing you're going to want to install would be the Xperia Home. After that's done, install the live wallpaper that comes with Xperia devices. And then go ahead and install all the widgets and Xperia apps as well. Now that all the apps are installed, go into your settings and change the home screen by going to personalize home screen and setting it as the Xperia Home. Now you'll have Xperia Home set up as your default launcher. You can also add shortcuts to all the Xperia apps as well. Go ahead and show you a few of them. The Walkman app is just like any other music player, just with the Xperia interface. Same thing goes for the album as well. It has Grace Note integration is included with the videos app, so if you have a video, you go ahead and search for info and then you search grace note for the actual full ID3 tag information for the movie. Go ahead and select that, tap done, and it'll add it to your video. It takes a couple of minutes for it to download and apply it to each file. Like the SketchUp was just like the HTC Scribble app. It came with a couple of different stamps and filters. So go ahead and take a photo or create your own. And then after you open one up, you go ahead and start drawing on it as you like, using all the different tools that are included in the toolbar up top. The Xperia Launcher itself pretty much functions the same way that the Sense Launcher does. It has an app drawer, but with the addition of the slide out menu with different options to filter your apps. In addition, the long press menu looks a little bit different. You have different options to add widgets, app shortcuts, change up the wallpaper, and change up themes. Because this does not come with any of the Xperia themes, you are unable to change from the default one. But you can change your wallpaper. I like to keep the Xperia Live wallpaper as a background. And now when you go back, as you move, the background moves instead. It doesn't move constantly, it just moves whenever you tap your screen. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out our other guide to install the Xperia camera. And be sure to check out the full breakdown of this process in the description below. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.